Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to point your domain name from GoDaddy to Bluehost. Now, if you purchased your domain name separate from your web host, you're just gonna need to make a few small changes in order for your blog to be viewed online. And the reason being is that your domain name needs to point towards your web host's DNS before anyone can access your blog. And the way that that's accomplished is by configuring your name servers. Now, I know I'm throwing a lot of jargon and, and technical terms around, but trust me, it's super easy. I'm gonna show you how to do it step-by-step step in this video. Now, here's a quick example of why you need to configure your name servers. Let's say you purchased iloverunning.com from GoDaddy, but you purchased your web hosting from Bluehost. Now, if someone were to go to www.iloverunning.com, they wouldn't be able to access your site, and odds are that they'd be taken to an ad page that's designated by GoDaddy. And that's because your domain name isn't pointing towards your web host, Bluehost. And all you have to do is, like I said, reconfigure those name servers. And once you change the name servers, you're gonna be able to start building your blog and other people will be able to access it as well. Now for this tutorial, I'm assuming that you purchased your domain name from GoDaddy and your web hosting from Bluehost. And all we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna make a couple of quick changes so that when people enter your domain name online, they'll be taken to your blog. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to GoDaddy and sign in to your account. Then once inside your account, you should see some different products within your account menu, but we're going to focus on the domains. So where it says domains, click on the manage button. Next, you'll be taken to your domain management page, and this is where you're going to configure the name servers. So to change the name servers, find the domain that you want to point towards Bluehost and click on that small arrow next to the domain name. The menu will appear and you'll want to click on Set Name Servers. It's the first selection of that drop-down menu. Next, you'll see a pop-up window that will allow you to configure the name server settings. And where it says set up type, you'll have two selections, standard and custom. And since you're gonna be adding new name servers, select custom and click the enter custom name server link. Then you're gonna to wanna to add Bluehost's name servers. Now I'm gonna give you the name servers in this video, but let me show you how to access them within your Bluehost account. So if we go to our Bluehost C panel, simply click on domains in the primary nav, and this will take you to your domain admin area. Then to access Bluehost's name server, click on the name servers tab and the two dot coms that look like URLs, those are the name servers you'll wanna copy and paste into GoDaddy's name server settings. Again, I'm gonna give you these name servers and they're also gonna be uh, a link below this video to access them, but again, this is how you're gonna do it in your Bluehost account. So once you've entered the new name servers, click OK, and then do a quick review to make sure everything looks good, and it does. And go ahead and click Save, and your request to change your name servers has been sent. Now, if you look at the upper right-hand side of your screen, you should see a little alert notifying you that your request has been submitted and that it should take a few moments for it to take effect. Just keep an eye on it and keep checking your domain, but everything should transfer over in a short period of time. And once the name servers are set, you can start building your blog. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found this video helpful, I greatly appreciate it. If you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. As always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.